guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Julia, if this is your first time here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this St. Patrick's Day gold green halo, whatever you want to call it, eye look. Um, I think it's really fun, super festive, and if you're looking for something different to try for St. Patrick's Day, then this is the look for you. So if you want to find out how I got this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so jumping right into this look, I'm going to be using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Eye Master brush set today. I'm really excited. I just bought this the other day and these brushes are actually so good. Like, I didn't know if I needed them until I bought them and then I was like, how have I not had these yet? Um, it literally has every single brush that you need to do an eye look. So yeah, these are bomb. But they're from Jaclyn Hill so I wouldn't really expect anything else. And I'm also going to be using the Morphe X James Charles palette again. I'll just open this up really quick. You can see this is super colorful, perfect for the St. Patrick's Day gold slash green. Um, I think I'm going to do like a halo eye with green and gold colors from this palette and just kind of go with it and get a little festive up in here. Okay, here is the palette. I'm going to be starting off with this yellow shade and for this look I'm mainly going to be sticking to these greens and yellows and then um, the golds just because that's the vibe we're going for. I'm going to start with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 blending brush and I'm going to dip it into this yellow, tap off the excess and then just put this in the crease. After going in with that yellow, I'm going to go in with, this palette's huge, it's so hard to hold up. I'm going to go in with this green color, just that same brush that I started with. Just put some color on there and then go back into the crease. And then I'm going to go back in with that yellow color and just blend the two colors together even more. Now I'm going to be taking this smaller, um, this is a JH33 brush and I'm just going to be taking this. This one's a little more tapered and it's better for going deeper in the crease. And then I'm just going to be taking, whoop, I'm be taking this darker green, It's a lot of color on there. So just tap off the excess and then we're going to go even lower and we're going to be go going even lower in the crease. Um, right under that lighter green that I was applying before. Alright, as you can see, that color was a lot more pigmented than I thought. So to blend that out a little more and make it less harsh, I'm going to go back in with that lighter green shade on the JH32, the bigger fluffy brush, and just try to blend that out a little bit. So I'm going to take that JH33, the small tapered brush, I'm going to go back into that darker green, but this time I'm just going to take a little bit of it, tap most of it off, and then go back in because I want to deepen the crease so that when we do the halo eye you can really see the contrast when I cut out the crease with concealer. And then I'm just not going to put anything on this brush and just blend out everything else. Alright, now I'm grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape. Don't even know if this is focused. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to take that on um, just a random flat synthetic hair brush. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer on that brush and we're just going to cut 
instead of like a cut crease doing the entire eyelid, I'm just going to be focusing on the center. That way, um, the two colors on the uh, outside and the inside are going to be the darker one, and the middle is just going to be that shimmer that I pick. So, let's do it. up a little bit so I'm just gonna take I'm gonna go back in with that small brush that I put the dark green on take some more of that and then just fix the concealer and the reason I'm not cutting that out is because it's okay to make mistakes I'm gonna add makeup but I still make mistakes and I'm not perfect. So I'm going to try that again and go in and cut the crease a little bit more precisely. So this is not going as expected, but it's fine. We're going to make it work. Um, I'm going to go back in with the smaller brush, and I'm going to go into this dark green. Just really tap off the excess, and I'm going to put this in the outer corner of my eye. Um, and then I'm also going to go a little bit more and put that on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm actually going to be taking this flat brush right here. This is the JH41 and I'm going to be taking ooh, this green color right here dipping my brush in that shimmer and I'm going to be putting this slightly on the outside but not completely on the lid so actually I'm going to take this Morphe setting spray and give it a good spritz so the color has more pigment alright now I'm just going to clean off this brush a little bit and the same flat brush I'm going to go back into the palette and let's see I think I'm going to go for this gold right here so we'll dip into this super pretty so we're going to go into that and then I'm going to take the setting spray and give it a good spritz and then this is going to go on the center of my eyelid I'm actually going to take my finger and try to pack it on that way to see if there's more pigment. Oh yeah. Already so much better. I just noticed we have so much fallout on my cheeks so I'm going to grab this just big powder brush and Okay, so it looks like we're okay wiping that off. Might go with the beauty sponge that I used for my concealer and just top that out. So I'm going to go back in with this little brush with the dark green on it and just go back over. And I'm going to put some more on there and put this on the inner and outer corners again. <laughs> take this flat brush and go back in for the gold
Then I'm going to go back in with that yellow shade that I originally used on this big fluffy brush. Just go over everything. So now that it's looking okay, if I had glitter with me, which I don't, I would put glitter on the center of the lid just for more of a pop. Alright, so now that this eye is done on the top, I am going to go in with some eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just going to do this off camera really quick. So be right back. Okay, now that my liner and top mascara is on, I'm going to take this um, brown NYX eyeliner for the waterline on my lower lash line. I'm just going to put this in there. And then I'm going to be taking this little flat liner brush from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush set. This is JH43. And I'm just going to be taking this into the James Charles palette. And I'm going to be dipping that into this dark green. Let's do the light green first. And I'm going to blend this out a little bit on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to take this um, JH40. This is like a little tapered bullet brush. And I'm going to take the gold, I mean, sorry, I'm going to take the yellow and put that under my lash line as well. And then one more time, I'm going to go back in with that yellow. And just blend it under. And then really quickly I'm just going to put mascara on the lower lash line. And then on the Jaclyn Hill 42 brush I'm going to go in for an inner corner highlight. I'm going to be using this light gold color. And then I'm also going to highlight the brow bone with that. Alright, now that this eye is finished, I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Hey guys, again this is the final look and if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's super fun and it makes me just ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Okay. Sometimes I can't roll my R's, it's fine. Like, you just gotta, just gotta go with it. Okay. Did it that time. That's what she said. <laughs>